New at 5, Tropical Storm Calvin didn't cause any trouble on Oahu, but it was still a sleepless night for many Haleiwa residents. They remember the historic flood two years ago that devastated homes and businesses. Our Mahalani Richardson reports. 61-year-old Derek Gamiel has lived in Haleiwa his entire life. I love it. You know, it's very peaceful. Except during heavy rains. As a storm approached the islands, he cleared his property, but lost a lot of sleep thinking about that historic North Shore flood two years ago that left his property underwater and devastated homes and businesses. Derek, you've clearly, you've, you've had a long night. <laughs> yeah, after worrying about What's going to happen? You know, everybody's tired over here. Nobody can sleep. We're just thinking about what's going to happen. Uh, after going through this three times in my life. Over the years, this is called Falkawila River. This river has become choked with invasive mangrove and debris. Residents say the width of the river is supposed to be as long as this bridge, but it's become more and more narrow. You could actually see right here, you could see the ocean. You could see Kayaka Bay. That's how it was. This whole entire bridge, you could see the ocean. In 1974, headlines blared news of a flood fury that left three dead and two missing. Gamiao says he was in elementary school during that deadly flood, and it was actually his father who saw a family on the roof of their home that got washed out to sea. Then he learned one of his classmates was lost. A child was lost here because of a flood. Do you still think about that child? Oh, yeah, all the time. Every time there's a flood, I think about him. Residents have met with government officials. The city has cleared the area near the bridge, but one big issue is a maze of private property along the river. So Gamiao has an idea. I'm willing to go in there and do it by hand, you know, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of community members here will come out and do it by hand. Just give us permission to go in and clean it out. But until there's action, he's on watch and worrying about the next storm. In Haleiwa, Mahialani Richardson, Hawaii News Now.